Damn, that is one ugly ass Bronco. So we're home with the blazer. It's a weird one to say, but let's get this thing unloaded and see if we get it fired up. We got lights and everything. It's almost like we're getting used to doing this stuff. Alright, before it loses momentum, you want to back it in? Oh, too late. Doing a great job. Cool. All right, guys, it's Saturday afternoon, and we're out here working on the K5 Blazer. A little weird to say, but so the deal we got on this, couldn't pass it up. The reason we got this, because my dad wanted something to go play with when we go off-roading with me. And his 70 Bronco really wasn't the thing for it. Last time we went out, he ended up creasing a fender, blew out his rear. So we wanted something a little beefier and they didn't care about as much. And that's why we have the Blazer. A little rough around the edges, you really wouldn't mind putting this thing into a tree. And it's got some really cool goodies. It's got the diesel under the hood, we're working on getting that fired up now. The guy was actually running it on biodiesel too. So you have a tank up here and then the tank in the rear. And there's about a million miles of the hoses and fittings on this thing. So we'll probably convert it back just to normal diesel. Oh, you got hydro boost. You have a Dana 60 up front with hydro assist. Add some kind of DOM steering, high steer on it. Pretty sweet little setup. 456 gears. In the rear, we have a corporate 14 bolt, a locker, I think it was a Detroit locker, he said, and uh, military 37s with bead locks. Trailer hitches front and rear. The interior is actually pretty clean on this thing too, which is impressive for an 88. They swapped out the driver's seat and we had the spare put on the other side. But I mean, it's pretty cool. The back's really nice and cozy. Speakers sound halfway decent. So, uh, hit 1500 bucks for the thing. And for an extra 300, we got a soft top for the rear, three more tires and rims, and a spare door. Oh, and the other seat for the other side that matches the driver's side one. But, um, yeah, pretty cool little find. Some cool stuff done to it like that. And uh, we're just trying to get it going. So the plan is we're gonna go move my truck and trailer and pull the Bronco up here and go and jump this thing. All right, so we're at the end of the weekend. We got a lot done on the Blazer. We started with cranking this thing over and trying to get fuel out of it. And we had to troubleshoot where the fuel was actually going because we had that biodiesel system in here. And before we could even deal with that, we had a bad connection at the starter. So we had a little fire, we had to put that out, put a new crimp nut down there. And then we were cranking and cranking and cranking. We cracked open the lines on the side of the heads, trying to get fuel out. We got a little through the bypass, but we just weren't really getting a lot. So what we decided to do was pull out all the biodiesel stuff. And as you can see, the engine bay is a lot cleaner. And that's because we pulled all that stuff. A couple different heat exchangers, one up over here at the top, kind of like an actual heat exchanger, and then a home brewed one plus all these lines and fittings. And some of these were actually jacked lines to keep the biodiesel warm so it wouldn't gel up in the system. So we got all that out, we're getting fuel through, and we're just not getting it through the injection pump underneath there. So what we're probably gonna end up doing is rebuilding that or getting a replacement. 
but it was a good start. We're using this tank for the time being, going to that filter there, and then running through the back into that injection pump. Then on the inside, we got all these extra wires here that we were able to pull out. We gotta figure out where they're going now. They're just loose after pulling out the uh, biodiesel system. So they're probably all up in there. There's a bunch of extra switches, some gauges. We don't need any of that anymore. So I think that's gonna be it. Hopefully the next video, we'll get this thing going and test it out. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.